This is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad. Magandang umaga po. I hope all is well with you and your family. Again, it's a joy to be able to share with you a message from God's Word. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, a part of Paul's letter to the Corinthians. We know that uh, twice he wrote the believers in Corinth, so this is part of his first letter. It says, And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Here's a word of admonition from the Apostle Paul to us who are students of the Bible and uh, continually uh, learning uh, more from the Scriptures, let us be warned. Don't be a wannabe theologian. You know what I'm saying? Those, uh, those Christians who love to use uh, theological jargons and... Uh, highfalutin uh, uh, Christian or church vocabularies. Paul here was straightforward with the church in Corinth. He did not uh, yammer on endlessly. He did not keep talking and talking lengthily and talk above their heads. He did not do that. He simplified things. He spoke about the truth about the person of Jesus Christ and the significance of his work, his life, his death on the cross. You know, as Christians, we should be all about him. Our lives should be dominated by the thought of him being the Lord and Savior of our lives. We should wake up with a craving to be like Jesus every day. And we should long to walk, to live as He lived. That should, be, that should be the direction of our lives. As each day passes, as we age, as the years go by, we become more and more like our Master. But how exactly did He walk? Great question. Reading the pages of the scripture, we can find that he did not detach himself from the uh, unruly crowd. He walked through mobs of people, shouting, spitting, and jeering at him while he carried that uh, heavy cross. That's how Jesus walked. That's how he lived. He did not avoid the difficult people. He did not detach himself from the unclean individuals. He allowed himself to be humiliated. He allowed himself to be mocked and ridiculed. Now Paul realized a simple yet powerful truth. That when we know Jesus, our pride should evaporate. Walang Kristiyanong mayabang. As we grow in the Lord, humility becomes more obvious. We manifest this great virtue. There is no room for arrogance when we have truly met the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul didn't need to use impressive words. That's what he was talking about in our passage today. He did not have to flex his uh, rich vocabulary. He did not want to uh, project an image uh, before the people that he is closer to God. He knows more about God than, than the rest of the people in Corinth. He needed to proclaim nothing 
but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That's our message. When we stand up in front, when we speak, we don't like people to see us. That's not our goal. We want them to see Jesus. We don't want people to know us better, but we desire that they know Jesus Christ and develop a passion in them to know Him more and more each day. Now, this mindset can work in us in two different ways. Number one, if we're constantly looking to impress others with our knowledge or with our holiness, we've completely missed our purpose. Why? Because the point is not us. It's Jesus. Secondly, we've also missed if we neglect sharing Jesus with others. Why? Kasi baka hindi ko masagot yung mga tanong nila. Eh. Baka masyado silang magaling at hindi ko masatisfy yung mga, yung mga tatanong nila sa akin. I may appear as someone who, who does not know enough about the Bible. You know, if we think this way or if we do this, We've also missed the heart of the matter. Again, the point is not us. It's Jesus. So my encouragement to you this morning, dear brother and dear sister, get to know Jesus, get excited about Him, because the point of our lives is to point people to Him. Let us pray. Lord God Father, Almighty, this morning, thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the example of the Apostle Paul. Thank you for his example of humility. And Father, thank you for reminding us that it's not about us. It's about you. We live. We do the ministry. We have become your servants. It's all about your glory and the spread of your fame. Not ours. Not for us to be known and to be applauded. Father God, forgive us for those times that we've been more concerned about ourselves than you. Father God, walk with us today. We ask for your blessing of protection and safety. We pray for your provision of needs for every family. Peace and order in our land, dear God. In Jesus' name, amen.